right, I'm going to show you how I built this uh, grow out hutch for rabbits or chicken brooder for little chickens um, when I start them to keep them safe from predators when they're little. Uh, very inexpensive, cost next to nothing, use pallet wood and scrap from around the yard for the most part. Uh, and of course they're very happy. We've got about 20 little, little rabbits in it right now. They've got lots of room to run around and they really do enjoy being in there. So much better than the cages. Uh, very simple to do. I'll show you how I did it. All right, what I did here is I've got the two by four, the sides of the pallets. And I'll show you here on the pallet. You know, you've got your, your plain good boards across the top and then you've got these sideboards which you usually throw away so I'm gonna use these sideboards to make the frame for my uh, hutch which will be good for both baby rabbit grow outs and uh, baby chick grow outs so I'm starting with my end pieces and what I did here was I took those boards and at the top of the first notch I screwed in one across and of course if you don't have free pallet wood you can just do this with regular 2x4s because that's all it is anyway. But I'm going to use the pre-cut notch to put my next 2x4 in to sit on top so it'll have a little extra strength. So my short board across the side, uh, I just went ahead and screwed it into the side but the long board for extra strength will go into the notch. Alright, the next step is I just ran the long boards across and of course these are some longer pallets so if you don't have the longer pallet wood you can... Uh, put another leg right in the middle to uh, to nail to, to screw to. And if you can't get pallet wood at all, of course you can do all of this with two by fours. And right here on the corner, you can see I kind of notched it a little bit to uh, get it all right, in. Next Good step, brush. I put another brace across the bottom on both sides. So it kind of looks like a bed frame right now just to help give it a little bit more strength and stability. Get all them little bunnies jumping around in there. We don't want it wobbling. Screw it in the long board flush across the bottom to help support the wire. And then one across this way just for extra right, strength. So I put the wire on. I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna use it for <clears throat> little chicks sometimes, but most of the times it's gonna be used for little rabbits. I went ahead and built a little bit of a floor in one end because it's good for the rabbits to be able to get off the wire and rest their feet. And I screwed in all of the boards except for the last one so that when I run my wire I can run it underneath the last one and kind of pin it down and then I'll nail it up from the bottom on this edge and screw it in from the sides so it'll be a little bit more Floor's finished. Now wall up the sides and I want it the floor done before the walls so that I can build the walls on top of the wire and help secure it along the edges like I did with the floor. Bloody knuckles into the project and we're making some progress. We got most of the walls. Now I have to tack the wire from the inside. Uh, to show you what I did, I put the uh, support beams, the two by fours, all the way around. And then I put my wood, I put the beams, and then I put the wire. Okay, then I put the wood down on top of the wire. And then I put the two by four around the top, which is the only part that I actually bought the wire and the two by four. Um, and whatever I'm going to use for my lid, probably plywood, uh, on the outside so that it pins the wire in and then I'll tack the wire in from the inside just to give it a little extra strength. On the back side, and I'll probably paint it once I get my lid. My All right, on. and now I got the little chickies in it. We've got uh, the water bottles because, of course, it's going to be used for a rabbit grow out also once we, once the chickens are out of it, um, and then the chicken feeders. So in the, I mean, in the rabbit feeders. So in the rabbit feeders, I've got the the grown up chicken food because some of them are big enough to eat it, and then I still have a little bit of the grow and mash for kind of a transition. And I also have the original water, but I'm going to train them to use the bottle also. But since they don't know how to use it yet, I went ahead and put a little bit of their original water. Uh, and I got them a couple of cherry tomatoes from the garden in there. But they're definitely enjoying it. It's a lot more space than where they were. Works very well. Very inexpensive. Pallet wood. Brooder or grow out hutch.
And again, the only thing that I actually bought was the wire and uh, the 2x4, treated 2x4 around the top because I just didn't have any more long pallet wood 2x4s that were long enough to go almost 8 feet across the top. And then I've got the, the top with an overlap on this side so that it protects the feeders from the rain. So if it rains, it won't get the feet all wet because, you know, you don't want it to get all moldy. And they've got a back portion where they can get back away from the front out of the rain. But yet they still have a good airflow to help keep them cool. And in the winter they can go back in that corner if they get kind of cool, kind of bundle up. Uh, and with the, the solid end back there, if anything were to try to bother them, they can go and get on the wood. Things like, especially for the bunnies, not so much the chickens, for the chickens to discourage uh, them from pooping in that corner where there's a solid bottom, you can run a bar across and they're gonna roost where the bar is, just run the bar over the wire. So most of their poop will be over the wire. But you do need a place for, mostly for your bunnies to get off the wire because it's bad on their feet to stay on the wire all the time. Plus, if you had something like say a coon or a possum, that came and tried to reach through the wire to grab at their feet, they could uh, go get on the wood and get away from it. They're very happy. Do it again. Make the baby rooster noise again. <laughs> I never heard this. That's hilarious. He is a little rooster, and I wasn't even supposed to get any roosters, but... Can you do it one more time for me? Not you. There you go. <laughs> That's silly.